Hey what's up? It's Mubarak Wasim here with another Photoshop tutorial and today we're going to be creating a guarantee button like the one you see here. So let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to do is create a new composition. I'm going to call it guarantee. We're going to make it 600 by 600. 72 resolution RGB transparent and 8 bit color. Now, the first thing we're going to do is hold your click here on the shape tool and go down to the custom shape tool. In CS3, this is the shape we're going to be using. It's available in the banners and awards presets. However, if you're using a different version of Photoshop, or perhaps if you're using GIMP you might not be able to find this shape but if you go to any free sh Photoshop shape website you should be able to find something similar. So the first thing we're going to do is draw out the shape. We're going to hold shift to keep the proportions the, sh the same and drag out the shape to that size. I'll just move it into the middle and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a gradient overlay so double click on the square panel here and click gradient overlay now we're going to make our own gradient this time we'll go with a blue so we'll start with a darker blue around here and where the white is double click and we'll go to a lighter blue so around there is good and that's what it looks like so far the next, the next thing we're going to do is create a stroke so if you click the stroke box now the stroke we're going to be creating is going to be about so thick so for the size I'm using it's about 13 pixels now if you look down here we could fill it with a colour so we could choose any colour to fill it with but we're actually going to fill it with a gradient now the default is black to white but if you double click on that we can edit the gradient we're going to double click on this black down here not this black this is the opacity but here's the colour so we double click here and we're going to change the black to a darker grey and we're going to change the white to a lighter grey about there so we get a nice silvery effect on the border the next thing we're, we're going to do with our gradient is we're going to change it from linear to reflected that gives us a nice shiny look and of course we can change the angle to whatever we want and we can change the scale so I'm going to leave it about there and have it on 90 degrees okay now if you notice my other shape had two circles here and here so we'll create them now what you want to do is go over here and click new layer we want to go back to the shapes toolbar and we want to hold click and go to ellipse then we're gonna hold shift to keep the proportions of the x and y axis the same and drag out a circle in fact we can make that even bigger then after we've drawn out that circle we're going to double click on this square panel here which will bring up the blending options we're then going to change the color to a light gray so that, look, that looks pretty cool and the next thing we're going to do is create in fact no we're not going to create a layer what we'll do is we'll duplicate this layer so control J or if you're on a Mac command J and we'll change the color overlay double click on the color overlay to bring that up 
to a blue, or change it to a lighter blue than any of the others, white, then a blue, that's looking cool, and hit OK. And then if we hit Control T or Command T on a Mac, that'll bring up the transform options. And rather than messing around with trying to get them in the same proportions, we'll just go over here to our width and height toolbars and we'll set the width to around 70% and the height to 70%. And if that's too small, we can set it to 80% and 80%. And then hit enter. And already that's looking like a nice button. So all we have to do now is add our text. So I'll go over here and click on our text tool and click here. So I'll change the font size to 60 and I'll type 30 day guarantee and I'll stick that there. I'll make the size of the 30 day a bit bigger, so around 80. Um, move them both here. The 30 day I'm going to make a dark grey so it stands out and guarantee is going to be a lighter colour, a blue, but darker than this outside circle so it's still visible. That's looking good. And the final thing to do, which is an optional step, is to add another text layer, make it a lot smaller, and just type money back guarantee or whatever text you feel is appropriate. Hit return and we'll stick that in there. Now another important point to notice is if you get this overlap on the text the spacing is wrong. So if you go over here on your text panel if you click there you'll see this and if you see here the vertical spacing between our lines or the leading is quite small so if we change that to about 30 pixels it'll do the job and we can put that in there and change the colour to a grey or a light blue. In fact we can change it to a white. That looks nice. So there you have it. That's just a simple way of creating a money back guarantee button. Obviously there's lots of stuff you can do with this and one that I like doing is on the inner circle if we double click here bring up brings up the blending options adding effects to the inner circle is always a nice touch so for instance adding in a shadow creates the effect that this is being pushed back or beveling it creates the effect that it's being pulled out of the frame which is a nice touch and really there are an unlimited things you can do with Photoshop so try it for yourself and until next time I'm Mubarak Wasim and thanks for watching